wonderful group of people uh, working out of our public service who have helped organize this conference, and I think you'd agree it's a, been superb. We have reasons to feel pleased about some of the very direct results. Uh, as I came to the podium, the 121st country has signed the treaty. This convention must enter into force as quickly as possible to give the kind of hope and inspiration to all the people who have placed their expectations on what we've done here in the last day and a half. No, it's for media only, sir. Media I'm only. sorry, media only. Media? Yeah. We were called utopian when we started this campaign. We may have had a utopian goal, which has turned into reality, but we're not idiots. I mean, obviously, there are 100 million landmines in the ground. It's going to take a while to clean up that mess. It's going to take a while to affect the lives of the victims, affect the lives of communities living in the midst of landmines. What this treaty has done, though, is establish a new norm of behavior. Secretary of State for Global Humanitarian Demining. Mr. Ambassador. The United States did not sign this treaty. That is because of President Clinton's concern for the safety and security of our men and women in uniform and the unique responsibilities the United States has around the world for the security of friends and allies. I say, Mr. Ambassador. Uh, our next panelist uh, is Ambassador Carl Inderfirth from the United States. But if one thinks that the only countries of importance to this treaty are Russia, China, and the U.S., one has a Cold War mentality. What this treaty is about is getting the countries that have used this weapon in great numbers on board. What's more important to me, personally, the United States? I don't think the United States is going to mine Vermont, for example. I worry about Angola with already maybe six, nine million mines in the ground and still teetering back and forth on the brink of possibly going to war again, I want them to sign. I want them to destroy their stocks. Those are the countries that are most significant to this treaty.